Something a bit different for this video. Every now and then, me or Mrs. Fred comes across the product that I feel deserves a video all on its own. Something that works probably better than I thought it would. And this video is about Ron Seal stain and varnish. Welcome to our family kitchen table in mid process of staining now this table is we reckon 25 years old and it certainly had some use and this section here you can see that all of the stain has completely worn off and we're down to the bare wood this middle fold out section this has had just one coat of stain and it's already looking a whole lot better and if you was after this sort of light effect you could just leave it at that now the end section here, this had two coats, and I'm really impressed how this has brought out all of the detail, all of the knots and the grain back from the wood. Um, yeah, really quite impressed with that. We're, we're gonna give it one more coat just for sort of protection. We're gonna go for the three coat effect. Now because this table is so old, it certainly had some use. There's a few stains on there from red wine and even felt tip pens when the kids used to draw on it when they were younger. So the good lady, Mrs. Fred, she's just given it a wipe over here with a 400 grit piece of sandpaper to get all of those marks off. One thing about this stain, it's so easy to apply and it's also water-based, which makes the tidying up a lot easier as well. So here we are, this is Mrs. Fred. We're just using, as you can see, an old paint tray and also a used roller. Nothing uh, fancy on Fred in the Shed channel. And then here she goes. Now she's just very carefully giving it just a single coat here with the roller. And then once she's sort of quite happy, she's got it nice and even. She's then gonna take a brush and just run the brush down in one direction just to make take out any roller marks or any sort of thick edges that might be on the wood. And yeah, it's quite as sort of simple as that. You just sort of let that dry for 24 hours. It's touch dry with, within an hour, but it's best to leave it for longer and then you can then apply as many coats as you want. The good lady, she's been so impressed with this stain that she decided to coat up some very cheap pine furniture that we had in the spare room. And once again, this is not new. This is probably about 10 years old and it's well used. And yeah, simply using the same process, a little rub down and then using the roller. And yeah, it's come out really, really nice. As I say, I know I keep saying it, but we're really impressed by this product. And here it is, this is the finished product. This is three coats of stain, and it's come out exceptionally well. So much that people have been coming around and saying, oh, you've got yourself a new table. <laughs> we say, no, it's 25 years old. It's uh, showing up the chairs now. I think we're gonna have to do something with the chairs. But yeah, overall, as I say, very, very impressed. I didn't do it myself, no credit, of course, to me. Mrs. Fred takes all the credit for this one. But uh, yeah, absolutely impressed. I think the finish is not as hard as you would get from the factory, so you're gonna have to be a little bit careful with hot plates and cups and things like that. Use sort of coasters. We should be using that sort of anyway, so you are gonna have to look after it. But uh, yeah, brought this table up absolutely like new. So there you go, just something a little bit different on Fred in the Shed. I will leave links to this Ronson stain from if you're from Amazon, but you can get it anywhere, any hardware store, Wix, places like that. Okay, I hope you're all staying well. Okay, that's it for now, cheers. Thanks for your view time. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it interesting and helpful. But as for now, as always, stay safe, and I'll catch you all on the next one.